Lane number two, all electric motorcycle. Check that smoky burnout. We're here at the Mason-Dixon Dragway in Hagerstown, Maryland, where electric vehicle hobbyists and racers have gathered to show off their stuff and to have a good time. Welcome to the annual Power of DC electric car drag race. We're going to have drag racers from all over the country here with a variety of electric cars. We have electric dragsters, we have pickup trucks, Porsches, Fieros, and we have a lot of electric motorcycles here today. And what we're here today to prove is the viability of electric cars. A lot of people think that electric cars are glorified golf carts. We're here to prove that electric cars can go the distance. This is going to be an exciting day. Drivers will be racing against the clock, trying for top speeds down a quarter mile track. Well, the noise and smoke come mostly from the gasoline cars that are running in between our heats here. The noise that you're hearing in the background is the noise of the petroleum age. We are in the post-petroleum age. The world is changing. Electric vehicles are clean, quiet, and for the most part, pretty reliable if you have everything hooked up right. So how do you hook these guys up? Unlike their gas-guzzling cousins, electric vehicles, or EVs, are all about the batteries. It doesn't need any oil, it doesn't need any tune-ups, you know, it just it doesn't need anything. This is my 1981 DeLorean converted to electric. This is the Superlight made Electrolyte Roadster. It has a DC motor and a DC controller. It has a race vehicle. We're looking to go four seconds in the zero to 60 miles an hour. We're running this buggy, which is a single-seater. Um, qualifies as a motorcycle. It's a cycle car. This one goes about 45 top speed. We brought four electric motorcycles with us. One of them runs high nines, a couple of street legal sidecar motorcycles. We also brought a electric drag car, juiced up. It has lithium batteries on it. This is a Pontiac Fiera that was converted in 1993 by a company called Solar Electric Engineering. It's got 18 golf cart batteries. It's a 108 volt system. And the golf cart batteries are really deep cycle energy batteries, so the car can go 50 miles on a charge, which is longer than most of these cars can. It basically, it charges on a regular 110 outlet. Solar panels don't do that much in terms of powering the car. They keep the batteries alive, and they also give me a few miles on uh, solar energy alone. Most EVs only average 40 to 70 miles per charge, but because they're powered by electricity, they run 90% cleaner than the average gas vehicle. We're being absolutely zero carbon today, as far as our cars go. The only smoke you will see is from our tires. Quarter mile, stop the clocks. Another great thing about EVs, they're really quiet. I used to think that they were stopping the race. And then I realized what was happening was that the electric cars were running, and so there was no noise. I like the smell of the race fuel. I like the noise. But then you get the electric cars that are really quiet, and they surprise you because you don't expect them to run, you know, 10 seconds or so in a quarter mile. One of the fastest EVs here today is a motorcycle named Agnes. We have 25 batteries wired up into a 300-volt pack. We're putting uh, 2,000 amps coming out of the motor controller, and we're pushing the line on the RPM of the motor. That's It's going as fast as it's going to. Over in lane number two, 300 volts of two-wheel racing action. It's here down a quarter mile. One, 126 miles an hour. 10 out in a quarter mile. Pretty impressive. I've ridden street bikes and gas bikes my whole life since I've been able to, and I've never launched off the line on any any gas-powered bike like I just did on the electric bike. Whether they're screaming down the track or having trouble getting off the line, for these guys, it's all about having fun. I think the dragon is secondary to the camaraderie. Um, the people come here to get together. We learn about each other's cars. We see what they're doing. We learn from them. For EVs, the technology is constantly improving, allowing them to go faster and faster every year. I have a feeling in the next year or so, we'll be seeing world records in terms of the quarter mile being held by electric vehicles. Very impressive. Some of them uh, are a lot faster than what you'd ever think they would be. The world is changing. The amount of oil is finite. The demand for the oil is rising. So we have to come up with solutions, and we have to come up with them very fast. This is the fastest way into the future. <laughs>